Tip number two, it tells you that you have a box. It tells you that you're pushing this box into this wall, and the box is not going to slide down. So you can just draw the forces, and the gravity comes down, call it mv. And then you also have the force of friction against the wall that points up, I'll call this mf. And you also have the normal force that opposes the force that you're pushing the box into the wall with. And these are going to be equal due to Newton's third law. And now I'm going to say uh, what is positive and what is negative. I'm going to say that the right is positive, up is positive, left is going to be negative, and down is going to be negative. So now I'm going to draw my forces in the x, and I'm going to draw my forces in the y. In the x, I have the force that you're pushing in the box with, and you also have the normal force. It's going to be negative because it's pointing to the left. So that's all the force in the x. And in the y, in the y, you have the force of friction, and you also have the force of gravity, so I'll call it mg. And that is all your forces in the y. So now we can go in the x and say f equals ma. And the acceleration of the x is going to be zero because it's not getting pushed into the wall or it's not getting flying into the wall. So it'll be f minus fn is equal to zero, and it'll be f equals fn. All right, that's your force equation in the x and in the y. It'll be f equals ma. And for the same reason as this one, so it's going to be zero. It asks you to find the force where the box um, doesn't slide down. That happens when the acceleration is zero. And because the box already runs, it's not going to go anywhere. So it'll be force of friction minus mg is equal to zero. So it'll be ff equals mg. Now if you remember, force of friction is going to be equal to mu in this equation to be mu static. Fn. So you can just plug that in and it'll be mu static Fn is equal to mg. That looks weird. Mg. And then we already said over here that the force is equal to Fn. So we can just say that it'll be mu static force is equal to mg. Just divide across mu static to both sides. And we'll get that the force is equal to mg over mu static. And now when we plug in all the numbers that it tells us, we'll get the right answer. And we're done. Thank you for watching.